Now let's start some retopo on the head. So let's take a look at the body that I have. And again, yours is not going to look just like mine. And if you want to keep your uh, polygon count to maybe three to 5,000, that's probably good for this half. You can see the kind of density that I have I've kind of uh, routed some of this geometry and I've kept the detail along the edges where I need them. And then in these open areas, I've kind of collapsed some of those down and I could definitely get a little bit lower in here on the arm if I wanted to, but I think that should work fine. And so what I want to do next is work on the head. So I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that I have the head geometry turned on the, the high geometry here. And you can see it right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the body, the high body. All right. And then I'm going to choose the head and I'm going to make that live. All right. So now the head is live. I'm also going to turn on wireframe on shaded and I want to be able to see these points because since the neck goes into this area right here, I want to initially set some points here. So I know kind of where to put the resolution because it's going to work a little bit better if those match up just because of how low resolution it is. If we have those separate, um, depending on how we rig those, we don't have points right on top of each other. There could be a little bit of penetration and or sliding. And so uh, I'm going to try to put some points right in the same spots. All right. So we've got that selected. Now what we can do is come in and I don't have any objects selected. So I'm going to go to modeling toolkit quad draw, and I'm just going to start by just dropping in some initial polygons. This time I have symmetry turned on. So we'll do it that way and see how that goes instead of mirroring our body over. And so I'm just kind of doing this lowest level here just to kind of get a better idea of where the center lines are. Come up here and do one as well as right here and then down here. And you can see those actually connect up. All right, so from this point, we can go ahead and take this initial surface and hide it. Now let's turn off our wireframe on shaded, go back to our poly surface two and back to quad draw. Now with the head, there are certain parts of the head that we know are going to need to deform and certain parts that may not. And so what I'll usually do is go in and create the areas that I want to uh, be able to, to control and then fill in the areas between those. So you're going to have areas where you want a really specific edge flow and you're going to have areas where it doesn't matter as much. And so do the parts that really need to be specific before you get to the other parts that you need to fill in. So for me, it's going to be kind of the eye socket and some of the areas up here and around kind of the horns. And so let's come down and look at the options here. And so one of the things you'll notice here is this quad strips. So tab left mouse button. If I click that, if I hold down tab, you can see I'm just dragging a line around here. If I use the middle mouse button, I can create the size. And so now when I hold down tab and I start dragging, let's say I drag from here and I start going up. If I hold down tab, I can just really quickly draw out a line that goes all the way up there. Okay. Then you could come in and you could extrude out individual lines here if you wanted to. Can see how they pop to each other. We could move individual points or space them out depending on what we want to do. Shift to smooth them. So you can really quickly add geometry here. We could do the same thing here. So for instance, I could come in here and right along the top of the eye here, and then I could move them manually. You want some points right where that low point is, where the eye kind of comes in there. And then you want them to kind of follow along with the contour, sort of come around that way. Okay. And then you can extrude this out maybe to the edge here, moving your points as needed. You can also place points and use shift control. will let you click to add an edge loop in here where we might need one. So lots of different options. And as you go through this, you'll find the way that you like to work as far as what gives you the best outcome, what works the fastest, things like that. All right.
you can come up here and you can see where the detail is and kind of really quickly figure out, okay, I need some polys to kind of flow this way. Our skull is not going to deform. And so the actual flow isn't quite as important in the areas up here. Okay. But we do have, you can see areas down here where we have an opening that we want to kind of keep. So we can start making some geometry around this opening and then down to the inside like that. Just so we make sure to get the change in the plane there. Okay. So something like that, and eventually, eventually those will all hook up. Let's try tab. We'll kind of come along the bottom here. All right. So you can see, you can really start to get everything blocked in really, really quickly. We'll kind of put one line that's kind of at the top of this ridge and then another kind of down on the side. You can see you have an opening here that you'll want to mirror. So again, low and high to get that change in elevation. Just kind of use your judgment about the spacing. Keep in mind, you're not going to be smoothing this. So if you have curved areas, you need to be okay with that kind of faceting there. You'll have the ability to change the map along here, but anywhere that you have edges like this or silhouettes, areas in the silhouette, keep in mind that you may see some faceting. And so you just have to kind of use your best judgment and figure out what is acceptable. So as you create these loops, you can then start to branch off of these and that'll give you kind of a clue on where you need to start to connect things up. So for instance, you can see how this sort of flows around. In some cases, you just follow the flow of the geometry around like this. And it'll kind of dictate things. And again, you don't have to be happy with what it gives you. You have all the control here, which is nice. But the problem when you have all the control is you have to do a lot more work. So you can use tools to kind of speed things up as we showed with the, the strips and things like that. Okay. If this is too, you know, if you have areas where it's pretty straight, you may not need these lines. And so you can always hit control shift and delete a line, kind of move that into position. And let's say that we had a line right here instead, you know, just bridge that across, you know, you can work on the getting that resolution exactly the way that you want it. So in these, in these areas, you may not need all these lines as well. All right. So why don't you go ahead and create some topology around the eyes, around the sort of ear area. Make sure you get some lines across here that show where the polygons of your body are and then around the opening. So let's say around the kind of nose opening, maybe around this opening and maybe a little bit on the top. Okay. And then we'll come in and keep going in the next lesson.